we don't indiscriminately euthanize bears. The Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency euthanized a bear yesterday after it hurt a 90 year old woman who was on her back porch. Now, many of you asked why the bear had to be euthanized. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke with the agency that says it's a decision they don't make lightly. Just this week, wildlife officials had to put down two black bears, one in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and one in Wears Valley. They had to do this because both bears were wandering around in broad daylight, which is unusual for them, and both were extremely food conditioned. Most issues that we have with black bears come back to food conditioning and they have access to unnatural human foods. That addiction to human food can lead to some aggressive behavior. Uh, usually ends up in, in the bear either being trapped and relocated, the best first case scenario, um, or furthermore, they could have to be uh, euthanized on site. The TWRA uses a chart system to determine the bear's threat level to society. If they fall into the red category, meaning they entered a closed area and hurt or killed a human, then the bear will be euthanized. Others in the blue and yellow category can be relocated, but it's typically still not a happy ending. Bears that are trapped and that are relocated because of nuisance issues such as food conditioning um, are, are dead within a year a lot of times. The Smoky Mountain Bear Wise Task Force says these bear deaths can be prevented if we live responsibly with wildlife. Pick up your garbage, you know, stow your garbage. Um, just check around your house to see if there are things that might be bear attractants. Kind of hold each other accountable because for us to live here with bears and to be able to see bears, I want to see them in a natural habitat. By changing our behavior, it can also change the bears. In Sevier County, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. Now, if you are in an area known to have bears, here are some bear wise tips. If you see a bear, watch from a distance, never approach it. Do not feed bears, S secure your food and your garbage. Don't leave pet food outside and lock the doors and windows on your car and your home.